What are the most terrifying traumatic events in the history of Harry Potter? The boy who lived. He's been through it, y'all. At number one, we have Visions from Voldemort. Okay, maybe the first time it got a little weird, but he ended up getting this so many times throughout the series. I feel like I'm going to start with a B tier. We may move these around as we go, but right now, B tier on Visions from Voldemort. The visit to Godric's Hollow with Hermione. Okay, reading this for the first time, I can't tell you how far my jaw was dropped open. What was her name? Not Bertha Jorkins. Bethilda Bagshot. Nagini is essentially wearing Bethilda Bagshot as a suit. Oh my goodness. I mean, putting yourself in Harry's shoes. I guess by that point, with all he had faced, it probably wouldn't have been in the realm of S tier, which is saying something. So if it were me personally, it would be S tier for me. I'm terrified of snakes, but for Harry, I think probably A tier is where it would be. Dementors near the lake. Okay, this is interesting that they have Dementors listed separately because I'm guessing, yeah, we've got Dementors in a train, Dementors on the Quidditch pitch. Okay, so we might have the Dementors ranked differently based on where Harry ran into them. So this one, the Dementors near the lake had the added fear of the fact that Sirius is there and Harry is trying to rescue Sirius at this point. He knows he's his godfather. He knows that he actually didn't turn over his parents. He's faced the Dementors a little bit at this point, so it's not quite as terrifying, but I still think I gotta give it an A tier. A troll in the dungeon. Okay, maybe when he was the first year, Troll would have been higher, but <laughs> at the end, Troll's D tier right there. The Ministry battle plus Sirius's death. Ooh, man. Okay, we might have our first S tier here. Anytime you have a death, especially of someone that close to you, after Harry had already lost his parents at a young age, and he had finally found that someone who he could look to as a father figure. He finally found somewhere that, you know, he really thought he was going to be able to have a normal life and then have it all taken away from him in the way it was taken away from him when he kind of led to it happening. It's really unfortunate. So it's got to be S tier in terms of how traumatic. Okay, Ron leaving the Horcrux hunt. Ooh, man. Your best friend. Your best friend leaves you at a time when you need it most. I mean, I, I can't put it up there at S tier with Sirius's death because of the fact that, I mean, at least he knew Ron was still alive. At least he knew there's a chance that Ron will turn around and come back at some point, which of course he eventually did. I'm gonna put it in A tier for now though, A tier for now. Escaping from a werewolf. Okay, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, they find out their professor, Remus Lupin, is in fact a werewolf. They have to get away from him. Ah, uh, B tier maybe? <laughs> Again, I know that's crazy considering everything that Harry ends up going through. I would put it above uh, Visions from Voldemort, though. The Horcrux Hunt. Okay, that includes a lot of things, though, right? I mean, that includes a lot of this. That includes Ron leaving. That includes the visit to Godric's Hollow. You know what? I'm going to put this one down here at the end and come back to that one because I want to see how many of these end up actually being part of the Horcrux Hunt. I don't really feel like it's fair to have that all-encompassing Horcrux Hunt, so we'll see. The Lie Campaign and the Prophet Against Him. Ooh, I mean, it was definitely tough at the time, and it was hard for him to go through that, especially in that book. And in some ways, it almost might be worse than something like... I mean, you think about escaping from a werewolf. Once you get away, that's, that's it. You know, it's done. But the Lie Campaign, that went on for a while. Oh, man, but in terms of traumatic, though, I mean, when I think of traumatic, I think of just, like... This, this incredible fear that you have in the moment. So I think this one would be a little more long lasting. Sirius breaking into their dormitory with a knife. Oh, again, like at the time that was so creepy. Oh man, I'm kind of thinking maybe we bump Ron down a little bit. Ron leaving the Horcrux hunt. I mean, that was traumatic, but traumatic in different ways. I'm gonna put Sirius at B tier here and then we might go back and kind of rearrange these at the end as we go. Okay, the Gringotts break in. Ooh, man. So again, I mean, this is part of the Horcrux hunt. So they go in, they have to get into Bellatrix's vault, they have to use Imperio along the way. I mean, I guess you could argue whether they had to or not, but they did. Again, I'm feeling B tier on this one. Umbridge, or the other name they have here, <laughs> and her detentions. Definitely annoying and definitely something that Harry would never forget, but I don't think it elevates to any of these things. But again, though, again, here I go talking myself out of it. This wasn't a one-time deal, you know? Sirius breaking into their dormitory with a knife. Yes, that singular event is probably more traumatic than any one of Umbridge's detentions, but the fact that you have all those detentions that stacked up on one another, I'm almost thinking about dropping down, escaping from a werewolf, because I don't remember them being too freaked out after that. Again, there were so many other things that happened in that scene involving Sirius, involving Wormtail, that the werewolf was kind of like, the secondary thing that happened, right? Oh, Lupin's a werewolf. Well, guess what? Sirius Black was not responsible for my parents' death. 
Bronze rat, Wormtail, has been hiding all along. I think that is arguably more traumatic. So you know what? Let's just go ahead and drop this down. And we'll see. We'll see. We might end up moving that one. Oh, and of course, here we go. Reveal of Scavers being Pettigrew. I do. I think that was more traumatic than trying to escape from the werewolf. But I don't know that I would elevate it to here. Let's let's put it right here. The curse broom. Ah, D tier. That's that's nothing compared to this other stuff. The prophecy. Wow. Okay, so the prophecy, obviously a very big deal in Harry's life. Although I would kind of argue he sort of already knew. I mean, we definitely knew that it was going to have to come down to something like that. I'm going to say C tier on the prophecy for now. Battle of Hogwarts. Wow. Okay, that has to be S tier. I mean, they lost so many people, right? Literally everything of the series built up to that moment, and that moment affected Harry for the rest of his life. Death Eaters after the Quidditch World Cup. Okay, this is C tier. Again, in the moment, it was pretty freaky and crazy. However, at the end of the day, Harry still had a lot of people helping him out. Detention in the Forbidden Forest. Oh man, so you gotta think, this is back to first year Harry. He is just getting exposed to all of this stuff right here. Uh, I'm kind of hovering between C and B right here. Of course, they run into a version of Voldemort taking out the unicorn. Yeah, let's go with B tier on this one. Indirect murder attempt on Katie. That was pretty freaky. That was absolutely pretty freaky, but it didn't happen to Harry or anyone who was immediately close to him. I mean, I know obviously he was close to Katie from Quidditch, but it wasn't like, you know, Ron or Hermione. And then we have dying. Wow, okay, yeah, I'm not sure it gets any more traumatic or terrifying than that. But if we think about Harry's mental state in the lead up to that moment, he was, I think, prepared, you know? He knew what he had to do. And it's been a while since I've read the book. I don't know if he really knew what exactly was going to come after, if he was going to have a choice to come back or not. I could possibly be persuaded to drop this one down to an A, given how he was prepared going into that, and I think expected that he was going to have to do something like that. But still, all in all, it's, it's hard for anything to rank higher than dying in terms of how terrifying it would be. Dementors on the train. Okay, if I remember correctly, this was Harry's first encounter with the Dementors. I mean, it's got to be pretty close to S tier. Maybe it's at the front of the A tier here. We'll leave it there for now and see what we run into. Fight with Quirrell. Okay, Harry in his first year, this teacher who's been <laughs> instructing him in defense against the dark arts this whole entire year, has Voldemort in the back of his head. That, my friends, is pretty terrifying for a 10-year-old who just started school. I guess he was actually 11 at the time. Because of his age and because of the fact that I think that's the point when he realized wow, yes, I found out about this incredible, amazing world. However, there is someone who is hunting me and is probably going to keep hunting me for the rest of my life or their life, whichever one ends first. I'm going to put that up here on A tier, and right now we'll put it just after the Dementors and just before Ron. Indirect murder attempt on Ron. Okay, we just talked about Katie Bell, how that one we put at C, but Ron, oh man, you're, it, it's your best friend, right? So I think that's got to be an A tier. Malfoy Manor, though, whew, that was a pretty intense moment. Obviously, they just narrowly are able to escape that. And then, of course, it ends with Dobby's death, uh, which was a very, very difficult time for Harry. I'm going to say a high B tier on that one. High B tier. Dementors on the Quidditch pitch. Again, it's your worst fear. This one, I'm going to say slightly less dramatic, simply because of the fact that he was playing Quidditch at the time. Also, he had Dumbledore and all the other powerful wizards right there. So I think at the end of the day, in the back of his mind, he probably knew that something major wasn't going to happen to him, even if he was terrified in the moment. Dobby's visit. Okay, that one's D tier. It definitely messed things up for him and set things on a difficult path for book two, but it's nothing compared to these others. The cave with Voldemort's Horcrux. Oh my gosh, having to... Basically, force your mentor, the person who you have been learning from and have been really idolizing, who you see as the most powerful wizard on the planet, to force him to keep drinking a potion that quite literally seems to be killing him. Man, that would be an incredibly difficult thing to do. And honestly, looking at a lot of these that we have in A tier right now, I mean, I think it's more traumatic than that, more traumatic than that, more traumatic than the fight with Quirrell, more traumatic than the Dementors near the lake because of how direct it was that he was right there and he was the one who was having to force that into Dumbledore. Visit to Godric's Hollow with Hermione, though. This is actually so tough. This kid had a lot <laughs> happening to him. A lot of bad things happening to him. Oh, man, you know what? I'm going to put it just behind Dementors, just above 
Godric Hollow because he was a little bit older for Godric Hollow, and at that point he knew how crazy and messed up this world was. The first task, okay, yeah, I rate that kind of down here, like escaping from a werewolf, something like that. Death Eaters after Quidditch World Cup, yeah, in that range. Crashing a car into the Whomping Willow, probably in this same area as well, although maybe we drop it down here. Maybe that one's D. I mean, that probably isn't as traumatic as something like the Prophecy, you know? Let's put it at D. Oh, Dumbledore's death. Okay, they actually did list that one out separately. I still don't think it would change the cave for me, though, because, again, the, the fact that he was having to force-feed Dumbledore the potion, and then you have all the Inferi, I mean, literally dead bodies rising up from the water. I'm going to keep that one there, but Dumbledore's death. Oh, dude, here's the question. Does Dumbledore's death elevate to S tier? I'm trying to think of how it affected him, how it impacted him, and how terrifying it was. I mean, in the moment, he couldn't do anything. He did get pretty mad at Snape, didn't he? I'm gonna say S tier, and we may go back and rearrange these here shortly. The second task, underwater, I'm gonna put that one as a little bit more traumatic than the first task, simply because his best friends were involved. Death Day Party, I mean, was that really that? I guess it's kind of weird, but by that point, they knew about ghosts in the wizarding world, so. I'm going to say that's down here in D tier. The wedding plus the ministry falling. Oh, yeah, that's really when they had to go on the run, when everything kicked off. In terms of terrifying slash traumatic, though, let's say C tier. Third task without the kidnapping part. Okay, that's very important. If it's without the kidnapping, without everything that happened in the graveyard, then I'm probably just going to put it down here. Let's see, was it worse than the second task? Mm, I actually think the second task might have been a little bit more traumatic, simply because it was his best friends. Alright, Chamber of Secrets and Basilisk. Ooh, again, not a huge fan of snakes here. For me as a reader, that was ridiculously terrifying. We also have Ginny Weasley, who Harry is trying to save at the moment. At least A tier, maybe S tier. I mean, the fact that you have learned that a giant snake has been living under the school the whole time that it's after anyone who is muggle-born is absolutely insane. Oh, and it just so happens to have your best friend's little sister, who is eventually going to be your wife one day. You don't know that yet, though. <laughs> I'm going to give it a high A tier, just behind the cave and just behind Mentors in a Train. Hedwig's death, oh, that was a tough one, and it was a sign of things to come in Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, that is for sure. I definitely don't think it affected Harry more than Dobby's death, though, and if we're including Dobby's death in Malfoy Manor, you know what, Malfoy Manor, I'm going to bump Malfoy Manor up to A tier. Because we have indirect murder attempt on Ron. Well, that was like an indirect attempt. Malfoy Manor, though, Dobby actually dies right here. Dobby actually dies. Okay, let's slot it in just behind Dementors. The Dementor one is really difficult for me to rate. The Graveyard. Okay, they do list that one out separately. Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire in the Graveyard with Wormtail, who is in the process of reviving Voldemort, bringing him back to life. Flesh blood and bone. I will never forget reading that book and just how fearful Harry was in that moment when the baby is dropped in the cauldron and he just keeps thinking, please let it drown, please let it drown, please let it drown. It's just this terror. I mean, it, it is an absolute terror in that moment. And because of that, I mean, you have someone like Cedric, who's not really a friend, but someone who you have grown to respect throughout this whole process, throughout this whole Triwizard Tournament. You see them just instantly taken out in in the snap of a finger they're gone and now your arch nemesis the one who killed so many people the one who was responsible for killing your parents and now he is getting revived right in front of you that is absolutely just ridiculously terrifying i've got to put it at s tier maybe even above dumbledore dying maybe even above dying <laughs> harry actually dying blowing up aunt marge oh man okay after all of these blowing up at marge it's like it's, it's like way down here moody's death yeah that one was tough but uh, nowhere near as much as dobby nowhere near as dumbledore definitely nowhere as bad as Sirius. but where does it rate in terms of hedwig's death i mean the weird thing is harry didn't really know the actual moody <laughs> he knew a fake version of Moody. I think I'm going to put this one down here. B tier. Dementors in Surrey. Okay, this is when they attack Harry and he's with Dudley. By this point, he knows the Patronus charm. He's able to use it. He's able to force them away. Still, I mean, it's your worst fear, so I kind of want to put it at, at B tier. Yeah, let's just go ahead and leave it at B. Sirius destroying the fat lady's portrait. Mm, C tier. The Horcrux Hunt. Oh man, that's right. We moved it down here. I mean, if we're talking about the entirety of the Horcrux Hunt, everything that they had to go through, that's got to be S tier, right? 
gotta be. All right, just looking at the S tiers here, do we think that the Ministry Battle plus Sirius's death is the single most terrifying slash traumatic? See, I almost wish they would have included just one or the other. Terrifying, traumatic. I don't know that it was particularly terrifying. It was definitely the most traumatic, though, I would say. But terrifying? See, like, the graveyard for me would probably be the more terrifying situation. But when you include the traumatic nature of it, the fact that Sirius died, whereas in the graveyard here, Cedric died. Yeah, I think I feel solid about the S-tiers right there. I think I feel solid. All right, A-tier, Dementors on the train. I can see why people would bump that down. I can. But if you think about what that moment served for Harry, that was the, his first time encountering them, literally shapes the rest of that book. His entire school year is really about the fact that he is terrified of these Dementors simply because it makes him relive his worst fear, which of course for Harry is way more traumatic than anyone else because of what happened to his parents. He's able to hear them and relive that moment even though he was a baby. Ooh, okay, this is the only one, like honestly, like looking at all of these other ones here, Ron leaving the Horcrux hunt, it almost feels like it should be down here in the B tier. Almost. Dude, this is, this is hard. This is crazy hard. Comment below. Let me know what you guys think. What are your S tier ones? Did I miss any that you feel like should definitely be an S tier? Let me know in the comments. YouTube happens to think this video right here would be awesome for you to watch next, so check that one out. As always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. I'll talk to you again soon.